Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So happy Cinco de Mayo from all of us here. And I'm just gonna show you one of my uh, riced cauliflower recipes. And this is the Spanish rice cauliflower recipe. And I am just using the Trader Joe's one pound, 16 ounce rice cauliflower that's ready made. Maggie, uh, caldo sabor pollo, chicken flavor bouillon. You can also use chicken broth. And I will use about one teaspoon of this. And I'm gonna use half of that tomato sauce, the small can of tomato sauce. Um, you can also use tomato paste, that way it's not too watery. I just don't have any right now, so I'm just using half of a can of a small tomato sauce. And the minced uh, mild green chilies, this one here, I am using one tablespoon. And that just kind of gives it another level of uh, spiciness, but it's really mild. But I love anything with green chilies or jalapenos. So I did um, one tablespoon of that. And also the embossa small can of salsa casera. I drained the liquid out, but there's jalapenos in there and I don't have any jalapenos right now. So I just, I will be using uh, half of that can also. And then I have a small um, onion, half of a small onion diced, and then three cloves of garlic diced, say maybe a quarter cup of diced green onion, one small tomato diced, and this is a, like a, about a half a cup of diced fresh cilantro. Okay, and let's go ahead and get started. So what I did was I put everything here on my left just to have it accessible and ready to put in my big saute pan. And you wanna have as much of a wide surface to cook this recipe, that not in a like a big saucepan or anything like that, because you kinda want that, um, you don't want it too mushy. You want like a shallow, wide pan, that way it'll not be mushy. Okay, so what I have in this big skillet is about two tablespoons of vegetable oil and I will once this heats up I will put the onion and the tomato okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put the garlic and tomato remember this is three cloves of garlic and half of an onion diced like a small medium onion And I am just gonna saute this for maybe about a minute until it's translucent. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna add the tomatoes. And that is one, uh, one tomato diced. And I will saute this for another minute with the tomato. So now I'm gonna add um, half of the embossa salsa casera. And then also the one tablespoon of mild green chilies that's diced. This is very mild, but it tastes so good. It's optional. And I will be sauteing this for about two minutes. I am going to add half of the fresh cilantro and the other half will be for garnish. I'm adding half now so that the flavor of the cilantro will absorb into the recipe. So I am putting that in right now. And a little bit of the green onion also and the, the rest will be for garnish. All right, so at this time, we are gonna go ahead and put, if you have tomato paste, put about two tablespoons of tomato paste. You can dilute the tomato paste with like a teaspoon of water, or you, can, you don't have to. And I don't have any more tomato paste, so I am gonna use about half of this tomato sauce can. This is the small one, which is, uh, this is the small can of tomato sauce, which is eight ounces. And I am putting about half. Okay, 
and then this uh, chicken flavor bouillon if you have chicken broth you can add like a quarter cup I am just gonna shake a few like about a teaspoon but I'm just gonna kind of put some here about a teaspoon also I forgot to let you guys know also put some cumin and I am gonna put about uh, a teaspoon maybe a half a teaspoon and I am gonna stir this up and then we are gonna add the riced cauliflower in just a couple minutes it is now time to add the rice cauliflower you guys here it is this is one pound 16 ounces and if you don't want this to um, mushy you want to just cook it for maybe around three to four minutes um, depending on your you know desired taste and texture uh, if you want it a little more you know softer then go ahead and cook it up to six minutes And my heat is on a medium heat. It is right now at a number five, between five and six. Also, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt for taste. Just add to your desired taste. So before you add the rest of the cilantro and diced green onions go ahead and taste it to see if you need to add a little more salt a little more uh, sprinkle of the chicken bouillon or if you need to add a little more uh, chicken broth or a little more of the cumin put in the fresh cilantro the rest of it remember you added the first half while it was cooking to so that it will absorb all the flavors. Okay, and then the rest of the green onion, go ahead and turn off the heat. And you just wanna kinda fold this in. All right, it is all finished. This is your Spanish rice cauliflower, Spanish style and it does cut on the carbs so if you're watching your carb intake this is an awesome alternative you guys try it out if you like this video press the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and join our family for more uh, cooking recipes and makeup and grocery hauls and hair and um just all kinds of mommy stuff uh, related videos so we will see you soon and thank you so much Look out for more riced cauliflower recipes in the near future. And thank you so much again. Bye-bye.